During today's video, we're going to talk about creating depth in your landscape shots. All right, so I don't recommend leaning over the edge of a cliff to do this. We'll give you some other tips. Hi, I'm Paul Fontanelli, and this is PhotographyTV.com. During this video, we're going to talk about how to create depth in your landscape shots. And the reason that's important, I'm sure you've had a time where you traveled to a magnificent location, taken photographs, only to get back home and say that the photographs just didn't do it justice. That is very common. In fact, let me show you an example. I recently went to Yosemite National Park and we went to this, scene, this place called Taft Point and the scenery was magnificent. And look at this first photograph as I put it up. It looks good and it's interesting, but I promise you this photograph does not do it justice. But when you create a little bit of depth and you add perspective to the scene to show the magnitude of what you're looking at, take a look at how the photograph improves. Simply by putting myself on the side of the cliff and you can get that perspective of you know, the size of a human being in relation to the scene that you're looking at, that changes the shot. That's what we mean by creating depth in the scene to put that real life perspective into it and it makes a huge difference as you look back at the before. Again, a decent shot, so it's still a very beautiful shot, but it doesn't give you that magnitude of the scene. Add me into the shot, put a person in there, and it makes a big difference. So during this video, we're going to give you a few different tips to really improve your landscape shots by adding that depth to the photograph. So let's get started with the first tip, which is to put something in the foreground of your landscape shots. And so here's an example. This was at Olympic National Park. This is Rialto Beach. And the beautiful thing about this beach is that there is driftwood all over the beach. And so the way that we improved this landscape shot was to take that driftwood and put it in the foreground of the shot. You see, we did this in this example. Here's another example that we're able to do that. And it really improves the photo compared to if I just went over to the side of the beach and shot out over the beach without the, the driftwood in the foreground. So using the foreground is a way to create depth in the scene. Here's another shot back at Yosemite National Park, coming back to that first example. This is Glacier Point, and you can see this is a beautiful shot. That main uh, attraction there in the photo is Half Dome. But what helps add this perspective is the tree in the foreground. So use the foreground, find elements, whether it's a tree, whether it's wood, whether it's rocks, find something that you can put in the foreground to really show the perspective, add that depth in the scene, it will make a big difference. So always be looking for something that you can put in the foreground just to add that perspective. So now in examples where you can't find something to put in the foreground, maybe there just isn't something there to use, but you still want to get a great landscape shot, what are some options that you have? Well, in that last shot, I showed you the main attraction in that photo was Half Dome. Well, later in that trip, we climbed to the top of Half Dome. And if you've ever been there, you know it's a flat rock with basically you're just standing on top of a really big flat rock and there's not a lot of things that you could put in the foreground because you're just standing on top of the rock. So when that's the case and you might not have those foreground options, think about using people in the foreground like I did in that very first example. So here's a shot. This is the top of Half Dome. Again, this is a shot without anything in the foreground showing that it's just not that great of a landscape shot because you don't have that depth perspective. But take a look at almost the exact same shot, top of Half Dome, but now in the foreground, I'm going to put a person into the shot. It significantly improves this shot. Now you can see the person looking out over the landscape and it really just makes this a standout shot by adding the person into the foreground. Here's another one in that same hiking trip to Yosemite. This is actually overlooking Lake Merced. I woke up in the morning, just wanted to kind of lay down, look over the magnificent scene. And by putting myself into the photo, this is almost a selfie with a tripod, so to speak, you can see it really adds some perspective and depth to this landscape shot. 
And so here's another shot going back to that glacier point example. Remember when we put the tree in the foreground? Well, here's one where we put the three of us that went on the trip. These are my two brother-in-laws. Uh, we put the people in the foreground. And again, it really adds some depth and perspective to this landscape shot. All right, so the last tip I'm gonna give you as it relates to the landscape shots is think about the composition of landscapes. Uh, I'm sure you've heard or you've seen some uh, discussions around the rule of thirds. When shooting landscape shots, try not to put the horizon line right in the middle of the frame. Use the rule of thirds. Uh, have the horizon line up at the top third if you really wanna call out uh, what's below the horizon line. Maybe it's the mountains or the, the cliffs and things like that as you can see in these shots. I didn't really need the sky to play much of a role in the photograph, so I put the horizon line much higher up in the shot because I wanted the, the mountains and those things to play a much bigger role in the scene. Uh, in other cases where the sky is telling a great story, whether you have fantastic clouds or a great sunset, um, things like that, make the horizon the lower third in the photograph and make the sky really stand out. So now that we've talked you through those three tips, putting natural elements in the foreground, putting people in the foreground, and thinking about your composition with where the horizon line is, we've given you ideas of how to improve your landscape shots. And remember, the most important thing is try to create that depth in the landscape shot so it really adds that perspective and magnitude that you're looking at when someone can look at the photograph. You pulled up those photos expecting to see the magnificent, magnificent, magnif, magn, magnificent, okay, got it. A beautiful scene, a what? A beautiful scene, a beautiful, uh, let's just start over.